Jack Paulson works for the transparency organization Tech Inquiry and recently traveled to Rhode Island for a meeting of the National Sheriff's Association Conference. So at that place, he did some secret recordings of cops talking about a number of different topics. Some in the area of like sort of petty corruption, others <laughs> including a bizarrely misogynistic comments. So we're gonna get into a couple different parts of this, but let's start off with this video where he's talking with a representative from a tech lobbying firm, Axon, and a Rhode Island law enforcement officer. You guys have Okay, so it's a little bit hard to follow, but what appears to be happening is that they are talking about setting up some sort of thing where they would take this lobbying rep out on like a hunting trip to potentially like get the trip in exchange for the sale of some products. If it seems incredibly petty, a petty way and a corrupt way to use taxpayer dollars, that is exactly what it is. That's what these conferences are for, to link up these sorts of operators to operate in anything other than the best interests of the public was. And so when you get together all of these cops and different people who are desperately trying to get them to spend a portion of their bloated budgets, we can't be surprised if it gets into corrupt territory. Bloat is the first word that came to mind when I saw this story. Just the idea that the cops can be lobbied, right? Because they have so much disposable cash, their budgets are so out of freaking whack um, that they can spend, you know, basically discretionary funds on state of the art tasers. Yeah. That's just insane. Like, we're not talking about the necessary gear for police officers to be safe. No, it's state of the art weapons to electrocute the hell out of the citizenry, mm -hmm. um, John. And it's amazing because, you know, whenever we're talking about public funds, going to things like working families um, and, you know, just bread and butter American issues. We scrutinize these these spends with a fine tooth comb and it's austerity this and tighten the belt that and bootstrap this. But <laughs> police budgets, they can just get as out of whack mm -hmm. as possible to the point where these guys get the most expensive toys possible. Yeah, and, and the exact sort of toys that you were talking about there. So the company that was involved in that conversation, Axon, produces tasers, smart weapons, body cameras and other related tools. And um, the conversation after that video did continue uh, with the police officer saying, bring the chiefs up. I'll tell you right now, you might as well bring the contracts up with you and it's a done deal. So I guess the hunting trip will happen and I guess a deal will be produced as a result of that. Not, mind you, as a result of the superiority of their products to some other company or <laughs> them pre presenting a better deal that saves the city or the state money. Why would those be the things that uh, these contracts are decided on? In any event, in addition to Axon, there were a lot of other companies there who came to get some of that money. You've got uh, places like uh, facial recognition firm Clearview AI, automated license plate scanner and surveillance camera company Flock, social media surveillance firm Data Miner, which is a hell of a name for a company, by the way, uh, Verizon, and a host of other surveillance technology corporations and police contractors. And look, obviously, police departments do need some stuff like this. But why wouldn't it become just a fun little fishing trip? Like like you said, like just looking for fun toys, fun gadgets when you have seemingly infinite money to spend in the area. Yeah, and I love and I love how cheap a date these guys are, man. Just just one little trip out to the country mm -hmm. and these guys are ready to put out. Oh, how despicable. Yeah, 100%. It's yeah, just like our representatives, they're bought so incredibly cheaply. Well, uh, corruption wasn't the only thing on the menu for uh, what was revealed by a Tech Inquiry. Uh, in another comment made, made near that same booth, this is the booth of Axon, a police officer said, uh, quote, he doesn't take any blank either. If you're an illegal in his county, you better blank and run and hide because you're gonna disappear. Well, that's good, right? 
That was the representative for Axon replying. Because the representative from Axon isn't gonna let a little bit of casual racism <laughs> stop a sale. No, no, you can't. Every good salesperson knows when the potential client says something problematic, you just roll with the punches and go home and complain about it to your significant other mm -hmm. later. Cause a sale has to be made. But the, the idea that his his um contribution to that conversation was like, that's a great, that's a great. Thing, right, <laughs> like potential murder, kidnap, disappearance mm -hmm. of you know an undocumented uh, person. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Look, if I'm playing like full devil's advocate, I'm gonna imagine that the Axon rep isn't a fan of this sort of xenophobia, this murder xenophobia. But he does know that he's talking to someone whose only personality characteristic is a desire to perpetuate <laughs> violence. So maybe he's just hoping to get through the conversation and move on with his day. That's if I'm being incredibly charitable. In any event, there was more that was recorded. So a retired chief of police was caught joking about law enforcement robots going into women's locker rooms. He added that some law enforcement robots become immobile when women's bikinis get entangled in their drive tracks. That's a big problem. Elon Musk is gonna have to work that out for his human bots, I assume, to us. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know what to say to that. I don't mind that as much, of course, because he's not talking about murdering anyone at least. Right, but how is this the topic of conversations like, you know, panties of officers getting caught? And dog bots, what a conference. <laughs> um, I kind of want to go to one just for the people watching alone, John. Yeah, apparently they have more fun than we thought. But yeah, look, and we, we include that comment partially because obviously the racism is also gonna come with some casual misogyny. Let's not forget that. But also, <laughs> like, we can never forget these, like, the people who are in charge, just because they have a big budget and just because they've been given power by the government, just because we've been told as we've been raised that they are authority figures and they deserve our respect, they are every bit the chuckleheads that everyone else in your life is. With the same sorts of personality flaws and petty, like, desires to be, like, wooed and sent on trips and all that, a propensity to corruption and all that. They have all of this power and all this money. They are fundamentally just like us in all of the bad ways. Yeah, there's there's just no <laughs> there's just no separating them from anybody else that you come across in your life or in society except these guys hold a disproportionate amount of power and influence and sway in the lives of the citizens who they are sworn to allegedly protect and serve. It's kind of crazy that this kind of knucklehead yeah. can ascend to that level of power. Exactly. But yeah. then again, it's not. Yeah, I guess we do see it a lot. Well, I, I wanna give you just two more comments. So one was after, uh, so Paulson for Tech Inquiry who'd been recording this was eventually uh, noticed to be recording someone. So sheriffs approached him, asked him to uh, delete the footage. Um, let's see, one National Sheriff's Association member asked him, uh, we've also had sheriffs come up to us and complain about being recorded in seminars. So if you have any recordings, I'd please ask you to delete them. And look, I don't know what the, the rules are for this individual like event space. And I get why, you know, most people don't like being recorded without knowing about it. But demanding that it be deleted feels to me like admitting you know there's a good chance that something was said that shouldn't be. And this is just, these are relatively public events, tons of people are there, you know, reps for companies come, reps for different police departments. Why would there be a presumption of privacy or a desire for a high level of privacy coming from that? That just seems needlessly defensive. But to circle back again, even if there was an assumption of privacy, who needs it? If you know, if, if everything you've ever done and said would be held up, could be um, held up to public scrutiny with no problem whatsoever. Yeah. What's the big deal, sheriffs? That's you know, it's the cops that's always like, what do you need a lawyer for? What do you care about being surveilled? Are you doing something wrong? Mm -hmm. What's the big deal, guys? Yeah. Well, I got one more for you, Waz. This is a fun one. So this is a, I believe, a retired cop and Safe Light Corporation contractor said, I think there's gonna be a flood of money coming out because that's all politicians can do. They don't, they just don't have the mindset and the tools to deal with crime. That's what we're supposed to do, you're supposed to do. All they can do is give us money, particularly before the election next year. There's gonna be, it's just gonna be an endless flood of money. So I look forward to that. 
And I, I bet that they do. I know. I know everybody was like trying to defund the police and like, oh, budgets have been destroyed. How do I know that? Not because the budgets have been destroyed, but because cops have complained about it for a year or two, Oz. Um, but it actually turns out that they are, as they always are, just flooding these departments with cash that they could go buy fun gadgets with. Look, and, and if it was just a bunch of cops uh, getting fat on OT, I really don't have a huge problem with that. But when you guys are spending the money on like military tactical gears and special specialty assisted tasers, that's where you kind of just be like, it's your budget is out of control, obviously. Yeah. And again, um, <clears throat> we don't have a problem with cops getting raises, cops racking up OT, having the best benefits in every any sector of the economy. Mm-hmm. Police have some of the best health um, benefits, retirements, pensions. We love it. We want to see all of that. But Jesus, please lay back on the freaking GI Joe stuff. <laughs> Exactly, that should not be too much to ask. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.